Atai is a name that almost everyone who was born in the late 1980s or the early 1990s has heard of. You see, he became a household name as a result of the crimes he committed. His real name is Raymond Ayi Ayite and was born in Accra, Adabraka to be precise. It is said that he dropped out of school because his mother relocated to the UK. As a result of that, he learned how to drive and became a taxi driver. In 1998, he took someone to a festival in a Groupon and when he was returning, he was involved in an accident which wrecked his car, rendering him jobless. So after a while, Atai was introduced by a neighbor to a gentleman called Eddie who was looking for a very skillful driver. In an interview, Atai said he was not briefed on what his job description was, but later he got to know that these guys were thieves going about looting. According to him, he was uncomfortable initially, but then because he had family to feed, he went on to help them. So Atai and his gang were stealing cars and taking money from people who went to the bank. Well, his first break was when they stole 12 million cities in 1999. In today's term, it will be 1,200 cities. That was a lot of money considering that was in the 20th century. Atai said they were not using guns because they were mere thieves, but they came across a police car which had a gun in it and they stole it. And that aided them a lot in their criminal activities. They kidnapped people for ransom and robbed banks. An eyewitness described how Atai and his gang chased a man and robbed him of 22 million cities he took from the bank at gunpoint. The gang also later tracked down a pastor who had withdrawn 56 million cities from the bank. Although they were not able to make away with all the money, but according to the story, they made away with 6 million cities in the process. Atai and his gang made away with over 700 million cities together with a lot of cars, electronics and jewelries. His surname and became a popular household name in Ghana and if you are a thief, you are nicknamed Atai. Police received a lot of tips as to where he was hiding but like a smoke, he dissipated before they got there. This made people believe that he possessed some kind of protective charms that shielded him from the police. Except for Atai, most of his gang members were captured or killed. On February 28, 2005, Atai was arrested at Nungwa. During his arrest, a story was told that Atai went on his knees begging the police not to kill him. He was sentenced to 160 years in prison with hard labor and he is now serving his term at Cape Coast and Kafu Maximum Security Prisons.